my name is Ashley from Ashley's Green Life and today's green tip is how to make your own cloth napkins or unpaper towels as they're sometimes called. So as you can tell we're not in my house. Um, we are actually at my in-laws house. This is my mother-in-law's little sewing station and uh, for today's tip you're going to need a surging mas machine. So a serger is the word. Um, I'm not a sewing person. I'm not a seamstress at all. Um, so I don't have one personally, so I use hers. So that is one disclaimer that if you want to make these napkins, you will need a serger. This basically will finish the edges so that they aren't unraveling as you try to use the cloth napkins in your house. So I love to make my own cloth napkins because it's a great way to save some money since uh, one yard of fabric can give you 16 napkins. So if you can get a good special going on at one of like a fabric store, you can get it for about 40% off when you buy your fabric, so that makes it maybe four bucks or so per yard. So basically you can get about 16 napkins for four to five dollars. So that's a huge savings compared to some places like on Etsy when you buy like a set of, um, you know, 16 to 20, sometimes that's 20 to 30 dollars almost, plus shipping and all that. So it's a great savings. The only downside is, as I said, you need a serger and you'll need the um, just the time to make them yourself. But it's kind of a fun thing to do. I love picking out the different fabrics and, and just knowing that I made them myself with a little help from my mother-in-law. So let's get started on how to make those napkins. So the first thing you're going to need is your fabric. I like to get mine from Joanne Fabric and Craft Stores. They have a fabric style there called Snuggly Flannel Prints, and that's the type that I use for these napkins. It's basically like a cotton flannel. I like to wait until it's on sale. They usually have really good 40% off sales, and as you can see, Mila's my little helper that day. We were picking out our, our fabric, and they have like at least two aisles or so full of all different types of styles and prints and colors that you can choose from. One word of caution is to kind of, I try to avoid ones that have lots of white in them, kind of like that orange fabric there. It seems to stain more so than other prints over time, so I did put that one back. Um, but basically you're going to choose your fabric and then get one yard of it equals 16 napkins. So you can choose how much fabric you want to get depending upon how many napkins you would like to make. I got three yards there, so I'm going to make about 48 napkins with those. So now that we have our fabric, some other supplies you might need um, to help you cut the fabric would be a rotary mat, a rotary blade, some fabric scissors, a yardstick, and a quilter's ruler. So that's that clear thing you can kind of lay on your fabric. And most importantly, you'll need a serger. So uh, if you don't have that, you might see if any friends or family have one that you could borrow. It's a must for this project. So next, I'm going to take my fabric and I'm going to fold it in half and then in half again. And I'm left with this kind of one fourth section. And I'm gonna count out 18 inches. So our napkins are going to be nine by nine inch squares. So I'm going to cut this fabric into basically one 18 by 18 inch square. So I'll count over 18 inches and I'll use my rotary blade there to cut off the extra selvage in about two to three inches. So we'll count in about nine inches and I'll take that and cut that in half. So I'm basically left with two nine inch, nine inch wide columns. Then I'll take my ruler and I'll measure up from the bottom nine inches and then I'm going to cut that in half. So now I'll have my nine by nine inch squares. So as you can tell, I'm a little bit of, of a sewing beginner, so you might have to go back through with your little rotary blade and cut off any extra pieces that you didn't quite get. And now you're left with your nine by nine inch squares. And so you're going to need some scissors to cut some of the folds in half. This will ensure that they're all the nine by nine inch um, sizes. So you'll cut those, and then the next set, next part is going to be to round the edges. So I fold it in half, and then in half again, and I try to do about two napkins at a time. And I will cut and round the edges. This will make it easier whenever we're serging the napkins so that you don't have to worry about four corners um, to make perfect. So when they're rounded, it's much easier. So they'll look about like this. And then you're ready to get started. So I know, big times here. <laughs> um, luckily, my mother-in-law helped me. She got the serger already. She got the white thread in there. And all I had to do was get it all set. So I basically just lift up the foot there and line up my fabric and put it down and start going. Um, so as you can see, I can go a little faster when it comes to the straightaways of the napkins. That's the easy part. So start on those if you're a beginner. And um, take, I take it a little slower whenever I come to the corners. Those are tricky. It took me a while to figure out how to get the corners without 
um, just making it all bunched up and everything. So I just take it a little slower when I get to the corners. And then you're just going to go around all four sides of the napkin and that's how you do it. <laughs> it's a pretty relaxing activity so anybody that likes to sew, I totally get it now. It's very relaxing. Alright, so when you're gearing up to finish off the napkin, you're going to come around to find your starting point. So wherever you started from, you're going to come around and you're going to surge on top of it and go over it just a little bit, maybe about an inch or so, and then you can start to pull it away from the needle and then I'll trim that off and it's done. So now you're ready to start on the next napkin. So here we have our finished napkins. I just love how they look. Um, I've been hooked on cloth napkins for years now and they make for great gifts for friends and family who are interested in going green. And for me, some of these sets I will give away and some other ones I will keep and just put into our little cloth napkin drawer and they are ready to be used. All right, so Olaf has joined me to check out the cloth napkins here. This is our cat. And um, to wrap up the video here, so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how it, easy it is to make cloth napkins on your own. And I hope you can give it a try as well. So if you've ever tried making your own cloth napkins or you have a special way that you like to do that, you can share that below. And I will see you guys next time for the next green tip. Bye.